welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Today I thought I'd do a 10 minute page. It's a busy family weekend, we've got lots on. Um, we're, we're about to go off um, to do an orienteering race in the park um, with my two daughters. So I didn't have too long, but uh, I still managed to sneak in and do a quick 10 minutes. I'm working on this is like a it's like an old filofax divider sheet um, today I have got the actual old filofax as well so occasionally I will uh, I'll work on these and, and just slot them into the, the little filofax um, I don't know that's just what grabbed me today and um, in my usual fashion I'm starting with some collage just leftover scraps that were on my desk. I was recording away yesterday um, for another project, which um, I can't tell you about too much now, but there's some exciting news coming. Um, and so yes, I had lots of leftover bits and bobs lying about. And there's a, uh, yeah, old, what's there, dictionary pages and old envelopes a napkin yeah the usual the usual leftover little scraps and stuff I was quite laid back thinking I had loads of time on this one and um, and then it, the time just ran away from me so <laughs> it's a bit rushed towards the end as you'll see so I've finished that bit of collage with the scraps and I'm just adding in some masking tape now. Um, I love using masking tape. It's just, it's, just, it's just fantastic stuff. It helps to sort of stick all that collage down. It creates text. You can have it wrinkled, you can have it flat. It's just, it's built. I love the stuff. Instant collage just there. Slap it down. Okay, in amongst my bits and bobs on the desk was this a little scrap of black lace. Um, and so I thought, yeah, grab that, we'll pop that on. And I just, given that I haven't much time, grab my stapler. And I thought it was a bit sort of... Um, left out on its own there. Um, so grab my other little box of fabrics and just pulling out a few other bits to add to it. This is just some eco dyed uh, calico or linen or something. Just pulling off a strip of that. And um, because I've got the poke dots from that old bit of envelope there at the top, I thought I'd pull out some of these, these bigger big ones um, and a sort of the splash of blue would be quite fun to add. What are we on? Six minutes. See it's flying by. Whilst I'm uh, sticking that down um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who um, took part in our Seek Gather Create Summer Challenge that we ran. Um, I so enjoyed doing it. It was just uh, it was just loads of fun and the responses that we got, the, the work that people created was just amazing. Um, so a big thank you to everyone who did join in uh, or even just commented on people's work and just was, were supportive. Um, that was fantastic. Uh, it was so good, in fact, that we will be um, running the challenge again in February. So we're going to be doing a winter scavenger hunt. So look out for that one. Right, I've I glued and stapled down that bit of fabric. And um, now I'm just going to add some gesso. Um, just so that I can start to add other mediums on the top. And just to blend in and um, sort of unify the collage that's on the page there. I think
think I actually used it to sort of tone down a few bit like there, tone down that little bit of black lace as well, just because it was just still a bit too stark for me. Now, I haven't got time to dry it. Usually I would dry it in between the different layers, um, but no time for that today. So I immediately grabbed my Stabilo All and started scribbling into the wet paint quite sure what I wanted to do so I just kind of just grabbed the end and made some just intuitive marks give that a spray to try and activate but because the gesso is wet it doesn't really activate very well I try and go in with my fingers which yes, again doesn't do a great deal so now I'm grabbing my uh, golden high flu high flow acrylics I can never say that word um, and this is in magenta and this is oh what's it called nickel azo gold so that's slapping again down onto the wet gesso and the um, that water that i sprayed on it so it moves about quite nice and i'm giving it another spray just to do that um, and obviously because I can't dry it, I was thinking, oh, I can't really work on that now. So I grabbed, this is my Sidekick um, book, which if you don't know what a Sidekick is, something that I was introduced to by Ollie Avenue. And it's fantastic. It's basically like my paint palette where I put all the leftover paint and scraps. And sometimes the pages in my Sidekick turn out even better than the ones in my journal. <laughs> so as you see, I'm, I've got that background there now in that book. And it takes some of the colour off, but I, th I like that effect. I look, I like how it came out. And what have I got left? Three minutes. Um, I had this image that I'd already pulled out, which is just a photocopy of um, an old photograph. This woman stood in a garden, um, dressed head to toe in coat and furs and all sorts. But it was just too dark. It didn't really sit. It didn't really go. I wasn't... I wasn't um, and maybe it was the size as well, it just it didn't work for me. So I pulled out, I've got this, uh, a sort of envelope with other bits and bobs in, pulled that out to try and find some other imagery that might work. This was kind of cool, but I just, I think it was the red t-shirt of the boy there, just didn't work for me with the pink. Um, so I'm having a rummage just off screen there, which you can't quite see, and I end up pulling out some Tim Holtz uh, photo booth. These are fantastic. I love these images. Uh, I went for this smiling lady. And yes, she's. I just said the other picture was too dark, and this is very dark, but it's smaller. Uh, so it seemed to work better, and it kind of makes... Uh, sort of goes with the, the lace so you've got you've got more than one dark spot if that makes sense on, on the uh, on the page so I'm just making it a bit thinner by pulling the back off there and I realized the time I was like ah it's only one minute uh, uh, one minute and one minute 40 ish um, so I just grabbed the glue and didn't even really think about where I was putting it I just slapped it down and I really wanted some words. Um, I know I didn't have a great deal of time, but I had some that I'd already pre so pulled out from a book in this little box. Um, and without thinking too much about it, I just pulled what I found. Um, and it says English woman who danced continually. And I, I thought that, you know, in the end worked out quite well. She's, she's very smiley. She looks very happy as if she could be dancing continually. <laughs> I just had a, a brief play around about where I wanted to put the words but look you see down there they just were totally lost so with only 50 seconds or so left I just grabbed the glue and um, it was another it was another case of uh, okay let's just get them down let's just slap them down and uh, I went with putting them right next to the image And it, yeah, it was, uh, some of the glue was uh, the glue was being a bit funny. It wouldn't stick, and I was like, "Ah, oh, we've only got twenty seconds stage left. Come on!" Um, it was a bit of a, a mad rush for the finish. 
It's a great way, though, uh, to be creative without worrying too much, without overthinking, because you've only got the 10 minutes, so you haven't got time to, to overthink. And so that's it with three, two, one, done. Um, yeah, I'm quite chuffed with how it turned out in the end. And I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.